Christmas is all about family and friends, and here's a really great way to show them how much they mean to you. Gather together a whole bunch of your favourite photos and create sort of like a roll of honour. I like to call it a memory wall. And a great place to do it is over by the front door. It's the first wall you see when you enter the house. The photos here can become a real talking point, because as we know, every photo tells a story. So the key to this whole idea is picture frames. And if you're anything like me, you'll have them scattered all over the house. And I don't think it matters if they don't match. And if you don't have enough, well, they're pretty cheap to buy these days. So how on earth am I going to bring this lot together? Well, it's with paint. Now, before I get into it, you know what? I'm looking for shortcuts at this time of the year. So instead of pulling every frame apart, I'm going to save some time just by masking instead. Remember this day really well. We're on holiday down the south coast. Beautiful blue sky day and then all these clouds rolled in. Made for a great photo. I think it works really well is a black and white. So what colour do you choose? Well, you could be pretty consistent and paint every frame the same shade, but I like a little bit of variety. So I've started with black on my palette. Got a little bit of white. Just mixing the two together, it forms a nice charcoal grey. Let's see how we go from there. There he goes, good old posty, delivering all the Christmas cards. <laughs> He's busy this time of the year. These light coloured frames, well, are looking a little on the sad side, so I'm just going over with some white paint. Before the paint has time to dry, I'm just wiping it back with some of this soft cloth. Gives them a kind of weathered look, just how we like it. Just discovered the same technique works just as well with these old black frames. It's actually grabbing in all of these little dents and scratches. Makes them really soft, kind of vintage. Just trim the stands away, that way the frames will sit neatly and flush against the wall. And to hang the frames, I'm just using picture hanging strips. Quick and easy, no need for hammering. Okay, time to get these up. You really want to make sure that your wall is clean, dry and dust free, otherwise they just won't stick. I'll be completely honest with you though, I hate measuring anything, so I'm not even going to use a tape measure, but I do roughly want to locate the centre. So I'm going halfway along this buffet, just working my way up. Now this will become my focal point. So what you do now is just peel away the backing tabs and pop it back up on the wall. Now you can make sure it's nice and straight if you use one of these. It's a spirit level and check that bubble is in the middle. And when you're happy, just push the picture down firmly on either side. Then you just take the picture off the wall and you'll see those little tabs remain. Now you need to leave those on the wall for an hour before your picture goes up. That way you'll make sure you get a really strong hold. So my south coast holiday snap is my anchor and from here I can work my way out. And as far as spacings go, well for this, you really just have to trust your eye. These strips are amazingly strong, but you do want to make sure you get the right strip for the right frame. The largest can actually hold up to seven kilos. This really is a wall of some of my favourite memories. Special places I've been to, friends, family, Things that make me laugh, even favourite pets. Gorgeous old shell, champion egg layer. She gets a Guernsey too. Every now and then, it's worth just taking a couple of steps back and having a look and see how things are lying. If you don't like where there is a picture sitting, well, you can easily take it down. That's the beauty of the command strips. Well, it's looking pretty good so far, but you know, I just want to add few more special touches, some family treasures that show what we're really all about. Nana's favourite teaspoons and Mum's beautiful old plate. It's a great idea for Christmas that I reckon you'll never want to take down and update it every now and then. Keep those memories coming. <laughs>